one. This is going to be a wild one. We got a 100, 150 pound weight difference. Sap in the white trunks. And Nogueira shoots for the takedown. Oh! No! That's what you call power, but but he's up against a lot of experience here. He's gonna do it again. It looks like he's gonna do it again. Oh, he better hold on to that leg. He dead, he dead manned him. Yeah. Now we have never seen Bob Sapp on the ground on top of someone. What a frightening experience it must be, even for oh, Nogueira. It's frightening from here. Oh, and then the lights went out. To make it a little bit more interesting. Well, for a show that has run as perfect as it has with K1, Inoki, Pride, we got Bob Sapp in there against Noguera, the greatest heavyweight, they say, in mixed martial arts versus the biggest and strongest heavyweight. Could you imagine getting hit by one of those clubs? No surgery. No, but a triangle is working already for him. He's working. Heels on hips to push Bob Sapp back out of range. Bob Sapp has got to work here to conserve his energy. And he's got to watch out. He's got to watch out. Look how he's holding his wrist. He's got to compress him. Uh, Mark Coleman told me after he fought Nogueira that his grip was phenomenal. He had a very strong grip. We start. That would be phenomenal. I'll tell you what, Bob's really impressing me because it's, uh, you know, it's... He's not gassed yet. Well, Noguero seems to be uh, not wanting to exchange punches with Bob Sapp right now. Look at the size of Sapp. Would you? Don't I don't know. I, but I didn't ask you, boss. <laughs> I wouldn't want to go to the ground either. I wouldn't, I wouldn't either. <laughs> it's uh oh. It's Sapp with the everywhere. submission. Look at that. Huh? Bob Sapp on top of Noguera again. We know Noguera can be dangerous from the bottom with mortal men, but Bob Sapp is just a little bit different than most fighters. Yeah, I've seen Bob Sapp at about 450 pounds with abs, so uh, you know, that, that's a different person. Oh, look at those smash hammers. In some ways, someone could say this isn't fair. We got this giant. Well, you know what? That's what makes Pride so cool, you know? Because you got contrasting styles, you got different guys, you got K1 guys against the Pride guys. A kick by Bob Sapp. Oh, no, girl. Trying to tee off on Bob Sapp's head, but he didn't catch the chin. I think it's really For Nogueira, that may be the best place to be. I think so, too. Uh, Bob is getting winded here. And, uh, he's breathing heavy. This is Nogueira's time now. I think Bob Sapp may be regretting the fact that he came out in such a blast at the beginning of this fight, because the longer this fight goes, the more it will favor Nogueira. Absolutely. Look at Nogueira now. He's getting confidence with the striking. Because, you know, the reflexes, if you're tired, your reflexes are going down to the ground. There we go. Nice combination. The left, right. Noguera shooting another double, but not getting it. Oh, Sap. Sap on the bottom again. Beautiful. Whoa. Noguera on top for a change. Inside and out. This is where Bob could be serious. He's going for an armbar. Look at this. It's like armbar in a red wood. Exactly. I don't think this is the time. Look at Bob Sap. He's not going to stay down. It's going to be really hard for Noguera to keep Bob Sapp down. Absolutely. Only fatigue. I don't care how experienced Noguera is. You've got to be unbelievably strong to keep that man on the ground. Unless he's gassed, which it looks like he may be. And Noguera looks so relaxed. Now, the trick is here, folks, that the Pride rules stipulate that the first round is 10 minutes. That's going to be a long 10 minutes for Bob Sapp. Yeah, no question. Yeah, because we've got five minutes and 40 seconds left now. That's more than half. Bob Sapp on the bottom. First time we've ever seen Bob Sapp on his back in mixed martial art competition. There's a doctor check here. Um, I don't know. Oh, it's Bob Sapp. Oh. We got, we, got a, we got a little bit of a cut here. It doesn't look like it's going to interfere with the fight. Uh, it's a pretty good sized cut. Well, it's, a, it's to the side yeah, of right the eye. It's, it's, right it's, 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 it's on the side. It looks like it will, we, we will be able to continue. It's, a, it's, it's to the side that I won't affect his vision. 
But this rest is doing what for Bob? It's doing, it's energizing him. Absolutely. It's really going to energize him. Uh, strategically, Nogueira has weathered what Bob Sapp has had so far. But what we're going to see is how Bob Sapp can weather what Nogueira's got in store. Because at the end, right before the cut, uh, Sapp was on the bottom and he started to eat punches like that left hand. Oh, God. This has been nothing short of an astonishing match in that Bob Sapp seized the initiative at the beginning and used his power and strength, but Noguera seems to be turning the tables at the moment. I'm kind of surprised Noguera survived that power bomb. Oh, <laughs> I thought he killed him. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Could kill, you can kill somebody like that. No question. Yeah, no, Noguera probably posted his arms and blocked the fall suit to avoid the head trauma. And I'll be honest with you, I think that uh, played a lot into Bob's game. Look at that. That's power. That is nothing. I don't care how much experience you have, you cannot overcome that kind of power. Go, 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 go. If Bob Sapp beats Noguera, it's going to send a clear message to all the heavyweights in the mixed martial arts. Watch out. He's got his back. No, Guerra's giving his back to Bob Sapp. Don't really. Oh, oh. eating punches. Oh, by the giant. No, Guerra got nicked by that punch. He's got to make sure that he doesn't give him that arm. Oh, oh. Sapp jumping up. Pulling a Sakuraba there. If Bob Look at Sapp, this. Bob Sapp going to be. Don't do it, Bob. Yeah, that would. Oh, Bob Sapp. Oh. Blasting away at Noguera, going for key lock. Don't kick in the head. You know, Bob could just lay there for a couple more minutes and uh, recoup a little bit. Absolutely. And that's what he's doing. Look, he just takes the arm and goes for it. And, I mean, you can be a technician, but against a lot of power, it's what you said, Bill. I'm sorry, what no. you do. Absolutely. We're watching something here in the best heavyweight in the world being manhandled. By a monster. Exactly. That's, not, that's not just a normal person in there, let me tell you. Standing next to him, being in the ring with him, oh. that ain't a normal person right there. But it does send a message. It's, it's it sends a huge, sends, sends a huge message sends out there. A huge message to every heavyweight. Be on notice. The better I get, Bob Sapp saying this, the more trouble you will be in. In a way. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Look at this. No, he's got it. Yeah, he's got a, no, Sapp, up. real smart. Oh, 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 oh. Sapp, pumping and pumping. Oh. champion, but this has got to say major props to Noguera's chin. Noguera's got a buck here for him. Bob's got to relax. Got to relax. Stay away from those hands. Yeah. Noguera's got to shoot his punches straight. He can't hook the box out. Uppercuts to the head. Yeah, well, yeah. I'll tell you what. Bob may throw him, you know, back to the States. Yeah. <laughs> and but, but, but let me tell you one thing. Nagara is one hell of an ambassador for this sport. Big time. No question. Take a fight like that. It's it's like having a, a, a big Japanese guy on your neck because that is the weight difference. Yeah. Here. They call this show Shockwave, but I'm sure inside Nogueira's head he's thinking nightmare at National Stadium. I'll tell you what, uh, to every heavyweight. Oh, good right hand by Nogueira. Good right hand by Nogueira, but Bob Sapp didn't even flinch. This is unbelievable, guys. You may be witnessing history. <laughs> if Bob Sapp beats Nogueira, yeah. I don't know, man. Everything's out, you know, everything's up for grabs. Two, two, a little under two and a half minutes left. Great knees. That's what Bob Sapp should do right there. He's throwing him around like a rag, though. Yes, he is. He's got to watch out here. Leave an arm exactly. in between two legs for Nogueira. Oh, the He's going to pick him up and drop him right at his feet. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bob Sapp demonstrating an impossible situation from Noguera at the moment. Impossible in the strength, in the, in the good defensive ability. He's learned from Matt Hume, Maurice Smith, Randy Couture, and Josh Barnett, of which he is in his corner. Bob Sapp blasting away. Noguera hanging tough. Noguera trying to pick that single leg takedown. Got the leg. Sapp sprawling back. Noguera on his what, back. This is amazing to me, guys. You, you got the number one heavyweight in the world just being thrown around the ring. Unbelievable. You got to. You got really got to give it to Bob and his corner. But let's let's do this. Why don't we quote Yogi Berra? And it ain't over till it's over. Hey, no question. Nobody's saying. Believe me. Yeah, because. 
the, I mean, yeah, the no. longer it goes, the advantage goes in the other corner. Okay, right, going for a leg lock. And he's got a leg lock. This what is it going to be? And he's got a leg lock on a tree. Oh! Yeah. Rivera almost got crushed there. I back out. Oh. I have to say, if Bob does not get gassed, Nagara's going to have a very, very tough time beating him. Oh, absolutely. Because, you know, punches is not, are not going to knock Bob out. It's not going to happen. We've got close to 30 seconds left. Nogueira really looking bad here. He's definitely worse for the wear. Yes, he is. Time's up. Time's up. Yeah. Okay, no, no. They're checking the cuts on him right now. You know, at first they checked the cut on Bob Sat. Now Nogueira. Yeah, he is juiced, buddy. Yeah, he's going to get a little checkage there. Wow. Okay, now now let's say that Bob Sapp would win this fight. Who are they going to match him up against next? Well, you know, I, I hey, hate uh, I'm starting my pro wrestling career, remember? <laughs> <laughs> so don't look at me. Yeah, well, maybe they're going to have to go with uh, maybe put two middleweights in the ring with him or something. Maybe to dump that's right around his weight, two guys. Because one guy... I like, could see Sammy Schultz against him. Yeah, but that's I. I don't think that would be competitive at all. I don't think so either. I re realistically, Sammy does not have the de defense for the takedown, and for sure, he's never been whacked like that. I, I, I'd like to see a fight with Bob Sapp versus Jerome LeBanner. Absolutely. Under K1 rules, we saw we saw Jerome LeBanner beat uh, Don Fry. And he was he was much bigger and much more experienced, but that lack of experience on Bob Sapp, I don't I think the strength is going to be a neutralizer. Wow, K1 rules though, buddy. Makes sense. Sure, that would be that would be a great fight. Yeah. Bob Sapp, a really comedic, funny individual, not a mean guy at all, just a sportsman doing what he has to do. But this has really been... Armbar, yeah. triangles, he's looking for everything now. But it's like you said, Bill, he's, when he gets caught, he's just lift, he just lifts him up and he slams him down. Yeah, from uh, talking to Josh Barnett, they've actually practiced that getting in the, um, the, nope. the triangle and picking him up and compressing the neck, trying to break it, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Josh Barnett... Uh-oh, Bob Sapp! Sapp they did a pretty good job by yeah. teaching Bob. Yeah, but Bob Sapp is blasting away, he, he, even though he's missing some of those punches and we're getting very close. But that's the end of the round. Hey, you know what? If you get hit by Bob Sapp, Thumb, it weighs 30 pounds. Man, I'm telling you. Oh. We, we saw something here in this first round we thought we'd never see. Antonio Minotaro Noguera, fighter of the year by most sports writers in the martial arts last year. As you said, Bill, treated like a rag doll. Yeah, but, you know, uh, I, all I have to say is uh, Bob surprised me. No question, he lasted the 10 minutes. It's anybody's game now. I want to see that pile drop, or whatever they call it, in the first of the fight. They're going to have to show it now in the Absolutely. replay. Please, if somebody from, from the crew can hear me, show us that thing, because that was amazing. Bob Sapp getting instructions from Maurice Smith about stand-up. Josh Barnett with the blonde hair speaking on. Noguera's corner. What could they be saying here, boss? Uh, dance around. Don't don't go for the takedown. Go for punches. Forget about the takedown. It takes too much power away from you. And uh, and Bob Sapp, every time he lands on top, you don't want to be there. Hit him. Go right there straight to the Here we go. Here we go. Okay, here's the Watch takedown this. attempt, and Bob Sapp lifts him. That ungodly strength picks him up. Oh! Tries for a pile driver, oh. and it, it it actually landed him on his shoulder and his head, but it wasn't a clean land on the head. A frightening move. <laughs> it is like Quentin Jackson, but then 200 pounds more. Right, but exactly. Man. Bob Sapp blasting away, trying to finish things from the guard of Noguera. Punch after punch. Some of those landing, but most of those being blocked or, or moved. Noguera doing an excellent job to move his head on the bottom. Yeah, Noguera, that should be his game plan now. Stay away. Stay away from everything, move around, don't go for a takedown only when you exactly know 100% you're going to take it down and get on top, otherwise forget about it. You know, the couple minute break was good for Bob, but even though it's an outdoor stadium, I don't think there's enough air in the world to fill uh, uh, his lungs back up. <laughs> yeah. Nogueira yeah. so clocking Bob on the chin, nothing happened. Uh, he hit Bob twice with that straight right, and that knocked out Sanai Kakuda flat in, in uh, Nogueira's last fight. They, they obviously told him to stand up with Bob, but now Bob is blasting him with a left jab, which almost sent him out of the ring. 
Oh, oh, this is not a good position for Nogueira right no. now. If Bob starts, uh -huh. okay, kneeing, I wanted to say, then it could be very bad. Maurice Smith, one of the best cardiovascular trainers in the business, trains Bob Sapp, and if Bob Sapp's cardio is there, this is going to be a really tough battle for Nogueira to overcome. Absolutely. And you know, to be honest with you, uh, Bob has nothing to lose, man. He's already proved that he can stand 10 minutes in there with the toughest guy, one of the toughest guys in the world. It's just a matter of time before Bob, ex Bob Sapp becomes more experienced. Let's say he loses to Noguera tonight. As you said, Bill, he's already made a statement here. If he loses to Noguera, gets a couple more fights. Uh, Noguera even said to me that it was just a matter of time before Bob Sapp learned the skills that became unbeatable. They got to make, uh, like you said before, Stephen, a different kind of weight class. Yeah, the <laughs> elephant division. Who else can be in it with him, though? Yes. Well, yeah. Tom Erickson. Tom Erickson would be yeah. a good fight. Absolutely. Tom Erickson, Sammy Schilt would on height, but Sammy Schilt doesn't Triangle. have the body mass. Oh, I, unless he gets it totally locked out, uh, the triangle may be the worst thing. There we go. Ever. There we go. There we go. And he's got to better make it tight. See? And he does it. Do it again. Do he's it again. He's, he's got, got it. He's going to go against him. Oh, he's got it. He's got position, but he doesn't have the foot locked over because Bob is so big. He can't get his legs wrapped around, and Nogueira is very There you go. Now, Bob's oh, oh, bad position. Oh, bad, bad position for Nogueira. But Bob Sapp doesn't seem to be too fluent in throwing knees. Maybe his look past. Nogueira here. Bob oh, Sapp. Bob is gassed, something happened. Yeah, Bob is really in trouble Bob here. Bob is seriously gassed now. Okay, Nogueira probably is going to go again for the triangle. Yep. He's consistently doing it, and trust me, somebody who's persistent, he's going to get it. And no question that every time uh, he gets him in it and he picks him up, he, extend, he expends a lot of energy. Yeah, because even though Nogueira look only at this. weighs... Look at this. <laughs> he's going for a big four. That's, that's big crazy. Four. <laughs> that's crazy. But, you know, that's what he knows, and maybe if Bob Sapp gets tired, Never know. his fatigue will betray him. Bob's huffing and puffing there. He should turn him now. Yeah. Nogueira should turn him now. It's not going to happen like that, guys. I'm no, sorry to tell you. He should turn him like this. Nogueira, Nogueira got to get on top, and it's going to be hard to get him off because Bob Sapp is losing gas here. Oh, oh <laughs> but he got right as soon as I said that, Bob Sapp proved me wrong. Flipped Nogueira right over. This is totally against the grain, guys. You've got to throw everything out the window with this one. This is a one-man army. Left. This is ten guys in one guy's body versus Noguera. Triangle again. He's got to take all the power again. Bob working to pass the guard. Passes the guard, but Noguera is going to keep bringing that leg back. Oh Noguera in position to be knee, but Bob Sapp. Look at this. He's no sure. Guerra is Bob's, so Bob's gassed. He's yeah. got to last a minute and 30. Or, uh... No, Guerra is so wily at getting off the bottom. Oh, Bob doesn't seem to be doing too good here. Here's the experience. Here's the experience. Here's the cardiovascular. Cardiovascular. That's what it's all about here. I'll tell you what. Part of a champion for Noguera. Big time. Like I said, he's a terrific ambassador. I spoke with him in, uh, in the back. He's, he's going on, boy. He's going. This it might does. be trouble. This is not good. Nogueira just needs to wait. If he oh, no, no, no. Unbelievable, guys. Absolutely unbelievable.